Howdy everyone, this is a little update uh, for two weeks of working on my RTS again. So I have now added queues to buildings so you can queue up a bunch of units and you can queue up multiple buildings whenever your engineers or units or whatever these things are called uh, are building buildings. So you can see I queued those up at the beginning and they just keep spawning right there. Um, I can also send once those little uh, blueprint objects are placed, I can send engineers to those uh, to go work on them. On top of that, you can see the yellow cube. I told it to go follow around those engineers, so it's going to follow them. Um, and you can also select multiple buildings and queue up units on all of those buildings. So you'll notice that I only have to click a few times and already there's, you know, 100 uh, units queued up. Um, also, when you're selecting, it will filter out the buildings if there are more units than buildings, since sometimes you're going to be building your army and you want to select your army across your entire base without necessarily selecting all the buildings. On top of that, you can also now see in the bottom right what units are currently selected. Um, there's a UI that tells you, like, hey, you know, you've got six engineers and nine doodads selected. Um, you can also queue up actions, so there's no more state machine. I have an action queue, so I can tell units to go do a whole bunch of things sequentially, and they will remember to do all of those. Um, this time around, I've been focusing more on design patterns and um, just building out the basic uh, controls and the UI first, rather than getting into the implementation of, you know, how are they actually going to attack and pathfind and stuff, since that seems to be the easier solution. Um, but because a lot of this stuff has such a high setup cost, like making any time I want to queue up an action, I have to do a whole bunch out of it. It's, there's a lot of stuff, so I think it'll be more difficult to make tutorials on, so I'm just going to keep uploading it to GitHub um, once I get to a place where I'm like, okay, I'm comfortable uploading this as like, you know, an intermediate project. Uh, so anyways, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.